What is person? Person is a uh, characteristic of some words which uh, describes their relation to the production of a sentence. And when I say production of a sentence, I mean either speaking or writing a sentence. And person can have one of three states. It can either be first person, second person, or third person. And in order to find what first, second, and third mean, it's probably easiest if we show a diagram of the production of a sentence. So the old man is going to speak, in this case, the sentence to Ada, and he's going to speak about Dan, Sheila, and the computer. So, the sentence is going to be spoken by the old man. So any words which reference the old man will be in the first person. Ada is the person being spoken to. So any words which reference Ada will be in the second person. And Dan and the computer and Sheila are what is being spoken about. So any words that reference Dan uh, and the computer and Sheila, or individually, will be in the third person. Okay, so first person refers to the person that the sentence is spoken by. Second person refers to the person spoken to, and third person refers to the person spoken about. And the real quick examples are I, you, and he, he, she, and it. Okay? I is first person, you is second person, he, she, and it are all third person words. So, just remember first equals whoop, first equals by, I was going to write two, second equals two, and third equals about. And you have to worry about person in quite a few pronouns. Uh, some forms of verbs and we really don't talk about it but all nouns are actually in the third person so anytime you replace a noun you replace it with a third person pronoun or use a third person uh, form of a verb so um, with that and oh I should say in, in English adjectives adverbs um, prepositions, conjunctions uh, do not have the characteristic of person. Do in some languages but not in English. So pronouns, verbs, and again nouns are all third person. And we will stop here and I will go cut another video.